okay this is crypto mano and this is my content so on today's video i'll be showing you guys um a step-by-step -step guide on how to um place a trade on um, the binance exchange platform i hope you understand so spot trading placing a trade on the binance exchange platform so um today we'll be making use of this signal um mbl slash btc so as you can see right here it says um breakout alert that's on binance movie block that's the full name of um the signal mbl just as we have um btc for bitcoin eth for ethereum so signal says mbl slash btc short mid term signal four to ten days buy around um two zero satoshis target one twenty two satoshis which will give you ten percent profit of course target two twenty five percent satoshi uh, 25 satoshis and target 3 31 satoshis those are um, percentages in front of those signals simply means you're going for target one after buying that signal that's acquiring the signal you're going for target one once it eats that target one the signal goes up the value of that coin goes up that mbo goes up to that point 22 satoshis and eats your target one it simply means you've made 10 percent profit of any amount of capital take for example you're using um hundred dollars on that trade. I hope you understand. Placing hundred dollars on this particular trade, that hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin on this particular trade. Once it eats your price, it simply means you've made ten percent of your hundred dollars. I hope you understand. It simply means you've made ten percent of your hundred dollars. Ten percent of your hundred dollars is simply ten dollars straight up. I hope you understand. So apply other calculations to it, and then you get the point. I hope you understand. So it says um buy um MBL slash BTC on Binance. So will come right here after logging into your binance account of course you can easily search for the coin for this part right here you can see it says search for coin so you come here and then you search for mbl make sure it's slash btc you can see right here mbl slash btc so and then you click on you see where it says buy and sell alert currency this alert right here is where you click on when you want to place a trade Allow you to set your price alert on that signal. So now we're about to deal with buy. You understand? We have to buy the signal first. You acquire the coin first before you can actually place um a sell order. I hope you understand. So we'll click on buy right here. So having clicked on buy, you can see this is a list of um my pending signals. So I've actually traded that signal though. I'm just recording this video to show you guys, you know, how to actually place both the buy and sell limit order on um the binance exchange platform so you can see where it says right here mbo slash btc and you can see right here this is where the current market price is it's still on um 20 satoshi so um now take for example i have just 100 dollars on my binance account you understand i've exhausted my btc do on several other signals so let's take for example i have just 100 dollars on my on my um binance account and then i want to you know let's say use the entirety of that hundred dollars that's all the hundred dollars on this particular trade i'll simply click on i'm buying at the current market price so the buy order will be executed faster i hope you understand you can see the current market price here 20 and it's still on 20 in the space provided below the limit order so if i want to use the entirety that's all that hundred dollars on this particular signal i simply click on 100 percent right here the equivalent this 100 percent simply means i'm instructing the app use the entirety of my capital on this particular signal so once you click on 100 percent right here usually it will show you the amount in btc that's the amount the equivalent of 100 in btc right here but like i said i've exhausted my capital on several other signals you understand so i don't have funds left in btc that's in bitcoin you know we are trading this signal against btc so once you click on 100 percent right here the value will pop up right here and then you click on buy mbl once you click on buy MBL, it will show you success. But you're seeing right here, it says, please enter a valid number, which simply means I don't have enough capital to jump on this particular trade. I hope you understand now. So, had it been I had, I had enough capital, having clicked on buy, you will see something like it will pop up. With a, you you get a pop up message saying success, meaning you've initiated the buy order. You understand? Meaning you've initiated the buy order. Then you come right here, this part right here. Once you click on it, it takes you to your open order you can see this is the list of pending orders i have so if that signal still appears under your open order here you check first having initiated the buy order you, you monitor the progress here if you check right here and it has disappeared from here that means the buy order has been successfully executed then you proceed to sell but if it's still here 
you wait for some minutes for the buy order to be executed and if it's taking too long like i said you simply cancel and initiate the buy order again at the current market price i hope you guys are following you simply cancel and initiate the buy order again so let's say i've acquired the signal i've bought the signal a portion of that coin you understand and then i come under my order history or trade history it simply means the history of orders that i've placed both buy or, buy or sell the history of orders that have closed that i placed and they've closed that's either buy or sell so you come under your open order or trade history right here sorry sorry other history or trade history as you can see here i bought mbo you understand i bought the signal i bought the coin already so you can see buy limits you can see this the the the, the buy limit the buy order has been successfully executed you can see 100 percent right here while this one this eth slash usdt you're seeing here it's a seller that i placed that's it that has been completed the buy order, the sell order has been completed you're seeing you stand 100 percent right here as you can see i bought eth i bought iost i bought xns this are list of buy orders so under your trade history same thing you can see mbl troy sns so don't get confused by this one so let's just assume i've bought the signal which i already have so i've bought the signal now you go back to where you want to place your trade you click the part it's like you click this part right here and you go back so let's just assume i've bought the signal i have capital and i've bought the signal i've jumped on this signal then you come under the sell column right here you click on sell as you can see so now let's just assume we're going for um target one right here you can see it says target one 0 0.0000022 satoshis so we're going for two two satoshis all you just have to do is you come right here you click on this part right here then you it box in the sell price you want to use there's no point clearing out the value you simply clear the zero and you add the two behind it so i'm going for sell price one 22 satoshis so having done that immediately you box in the sell price you want to use you simply click on 100 percent meaning you're creating a sell order for everything you bought this time around it doesn't matter if you bought with 25 percent of your capital 50 percent 75 percent or 100 whenever you want to sell always click on 100 percent i hope you understand so meaning you're instructing the app now to create a sell order for everything you bought like the entirety of the of that portion of the coin that you bought so right here you click on 100 percent so let's just assume i've bought the signal if i have bought the signal the equivalent value this sell price 22 will give you this sell price 22 satoshis will give you would appear here but like i said remember we didn't buy the coin i adjusted my capital on several other signals so it will pop up right here you simply click on once you box in the value right here straight up click on 100 percent straight up click on sell once you click on sell the message that will pop up will be success but if once you're getting this error message it simply means you've not bought that coin or you don't have enough capital to buy that coin I hope you understand so it is entire value number so once i box in the value i want to use let's say 22 satoshi which will give me 10 percent of my capital then you come right here under your open order and you'll meet it right here meaning you've created the sell order i actually went for sell price three on this particular signal you understand but as beginners now you guys just getting into the crypto space i would advise you always stick with sell price one i hope you understand depending in time you will know perfect the basics and all that so now i've created the sell order as you can see i went for 30 satoshis so now the sell order will be pending here this is a list of pending sell orders pending sell order so once this signals its sell price once the orders have been filled 100 percent you can see still on zero you understand once this sell order has been filled 100 percent then you you see you, you you can easily monitor the progress here you understand so one way to actually monitor the progress of signals after placing your buy and sell order is to actually set your price alert i hope you understand to set your price alert setting your price alert is very straightforward you come right here this part that looks like a candlestick right here then you click on it you understand you take you to the charts this is the chart of this particular uh, signal this coin that's mbo slash btc you can see where it says currency you can see where it says alert so now you simply click on alert remember we bought the signal at 20 satoshis I hope you understand. I bought the signal at 20 Satoshi. That's 20 right here. And it went for sell price 22. Went for sell price 22. That's sell price 1, 22 Satoshis. So now, if you want to be alerted once that signal reaches that 22 Satoshis, you, could, you just, all you have to do is just simply set your price alert. You come right here. You box in the value 22. I hope you understand. You remember you went for sell price 1 as beginners. You box in sell price, uh, sell price one twenty two. If you went for sell price two, you box in the equivalent value of that sell price two. You box in it here. 
it's all price story, you're boxing it here. If you want for maybe 30 satoshis or 40 or whichever the case may be, you simply box it here and you click on create a lot. As you can see, it says a lot successfully created, a lot successfully created. So what this means is that as long as your internet connection, data connection is on, once that signal is all price, you don't have to be online. You might be on maybe doing something on maybe any other application and all that. So once your data connection is on and it it's that sale price, you will be notified. A notification will pop in like, okay, MBO slash BTC is above so 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 and so price. This time around, we know we used sell price one, 22 Satoshi. So the pop-up message will be like, MBL slash BTC is above 22 Satoshi's. You will see right there. It simply means that signals it's your sell price. It has left that your sell price 22 behind. It's now above it, meaning you've made profit from that signal straight up. It's as simple as that. You place your buy order, place your sell order, set your price a lot. It's as simple as that. I hope you understand now. So having done that, it's very easy. So you simply create your, you, you initiate your buy order first. Make sure the buy order has been successfully executed. You can easily monitor the progress under your open order and your order history. Once it's still under your open order, the buy order or sell order, any order whatsoever is still pending. But once it's now under your order history or trade history, means it has been initiated successfully, it has closed, either buy or sell. It's now an, it's, it's an history. It's now under your the history section. I hope you understand now. So also, instead of clicking on the home page right here, I'm coming here to search for the coin. You can easily click on this part where it says trade. You click on trade. It comes, it, it brings you to this part. You click on this part, maybe MBO slash BTC. Maybe you want to trade another signal. You click on this part and then you please enter keyword search. And then you search. Take, for example, I want to trade, um, let's say, another coin. Let's say ETH slash BTC. I simply box in ETH. And then I click on ETH slash BTC right here to take it to the trading interface and then you do what needs to be done. You buy first, create your seller, set your price a lot. It's as simple as that. This is Crypto Manual. Over and out.